Hey y'all, Amber here with Yarny Quals Crochet and thank you so much for joining me. Today, I have yarn. I actually have a quite a bit of yarn that I need to show you. It is all the yarn that I have purchased since January 1st of 2022. I just realized not long ago that I've not show you yarn that I've purchased. Now, keeping that in mind, this is eight months worth of yarn. So it's going to look like a lot, but it's really not. I've actually not bought a whole lot of yarn this year. And every bit of the yarn that I have purchased has been mindful. I've bought it knowing what I wanted to do with it first, which you know, I'm trying to get better at that. And it, it has really seemed to help to quell the impulse to just like, by so you July of this year was a challenge from beginning to end. I was not sad to see August 1st roll over on the calendar. In my home in July, we had two big storms come through our area in like a week apart from each other. There was horrible storm damage everywhere. You know, there, you know, we didn't have power for a while. So many people's homes got damaged. Like, it was so sad. Like, it looked like a hurricane came through East Tennessee. And I am not even kidding. You know, I've, I live in East Tennessee. Okay. We get bad storms. Now, it's not Tornado Alley or anything, but. I've been in the area where tornadoes have come pretty darn close. I know what that looks like. I've seen it before. And I have never seen the tops of trees. And I'm talking tall trees that were bending over from the wind so severely that the tops almost bent over to touch the ground. And it started hailing horribly. I, I thought my ceiling was going to cave in storm damage everywhere you know thankfully our house was fine we had tree debris and stuff to clean up but we also have another property that we try to take care of and it got hit worse than ours so you know I spent the next few weeks trying to get you know insurance estimates done and scheduling for roofers to come out and fix things and scheduling for um people you know a tree service to cut out come out and help clean up tree debris and cut down other trees that were you know going to be problematic eventually oh and at the same time covid came through my house finally i only took it two years because my husband was the one who tested positive and he was really really sick if i did have it if i did my symptoms were extremely mild like i'm I'm not even sure that I had it. I mean, I, I isolated. I stayed away from people. I made myself follow the same rules that my husband had to follow. I treated myself like I had COVID, even though I was not sure. Let's talk about yarn. Let's talk about yarn. Let me show you some things that I got. I have some things that are hand dyed and I have some things that are not. So let me show you the first thing that I got. And one thing that I did get that I have every intention of making a couple of pet beds for my cats with this stuff is the Bernat Velvet Yarn. I've never had this before and it's got the red tag on it. So it was on clearance. The clearance price was $5.98. But I also, they also at the time were having, I think an extra... Sorry, kept feeling something tickle me. Um, and it was an extra 20% off this, plus I had coupons. So I got four balls of this after tax and everything for like $20. Oh, I got some other things too. So um, anyway, I only ended up paying like $20, $25. And that included four of these like big hanks of Bernat Velvet Twist Yarn. Uh, this, I tried to pick some colors that were sort of considered boy colors because both my, my cats are boys. This is like a blue-green twist to it. 
And this yarn is twisted if you've never had it, which is why it's called, you know, the Burnout Velvet Twist. Um, let's see. It's a bulky five and 100% polyester, 229 yards, a uh, hand wash, no bleaching, no drying, no ironing, and no dry cleaning. So hand wash, lay fat to dry, which we're not surprised because it's velvet yarn. It is really soft and my boys are going to love this. So Lion Brand, some of y'all probably saw if you are subscribed to their mailing or their email list, had a really good sale um, some weeks back on Comfy Cotton. So I got two colorways. I got this one. And this one is called Lovey Dovey. And it's different shades of pinks and like um like a cream it's really soft and i got this one and it's called chai latte it's more neutral if you can see that it's got creams and blues and corals and kind of has a bit of a yellowish tinge to it this stuff is really comfortable these are very decent sized cakes uh, it's a 200 gram cake uh, 358 meters, 392 yards. Now this comfy cotton, um, it's a light three. Um, you can wash it, uh, no bleaching. You can dry it, no ironing, and it can be dry cleaned with certain chemicals. But I found another website that is called, um, crochetforcancer.com. And you can put in your area and it gives you local places that you can make things like that and donate. And this yarn was used. Uh, they have free patterns on their website as well. But they made a beautiful beanie that I fell in love with that I'm going to make using this yarn. Okay, moving on to the next. Um, back in April or May. It was the, um, whatever day it is that was uh, the small yarn shop day. I went to my local yarn shop, the Clinch River Yarn, which I really love. I love the owners of that store. And I had every intention of buying um, some of the yarn that is made by Robin, who she and her mother are the two individuals that run Clinch River Yarn. There was a specific colorway she made just especially for that day. And that's what I went with the intentions of getting. However, that is not what I got. Here is what I ended up with. Malabrigo Rios. Most of you all found me, met me, because I won one of the giveaways from Crystal at Bago Day Crochet um, like a little over a year ago. She absolutely loves Malabrigo yarn. She loves it. She's forever talking about it. I had never had an opportunity to touch it, look at it. When I was in the yarn shop that day, I already had the yarn in my hands that I was going to buy. And I saw these two, this colorway and this one hanging like right under it. And it was just like, have you ever just like, had your mind made up, you know what you're getting. And then it's like you turn a corner and you see something and you're just like, ding. It was a ding moment. This, this was a ding moment or zing, a zing moment from, I, I love the Hotel Transylvania movies. So they talk about the zing. This was a zing moment. I picked this yarn up, put it back, picked it up, put it back. I wandered around that small yarn <laughs> for almost an hour because I could not make up my mind and I was on a budget. I couldn't buy all the things, you know, and the Malabrigo was a little more cost efficient than the yarn that I had in my hand. So I put the hand dyed yarn back and I bought these two Hanks and they are glorious. All right, let's talk about it. Malabrigo Rios. It is worsted weight, 210 yards, 100 grams, 
Superwash Merino Wool. Oh, yes, Medusa. This is Medusa. But this one, the specs are exactly the same. It's a four-way, and the colorway of this is Magenta 214. But I, I absolutely loved these. So I got these on a Support Your Local Yarn Shop Day. I have something special that I need to show you all. And this item is old. This is my baby blanket. This blanket was crocheted for me, made for me, while my mom was still pregnant with me back in the early 80s. It was made by a family member who is a, a man. And I don't know that I ever got to meet him. He passed away when I was either right before I was born or when I was very young because I actually don't remember meeting him. But the reason that this blanket is pink and blue is because at the time no one knew if I was a boy or a girl yet. So he just made it pink and blue. This blanket is 40 years old. It has been with me my entire life. It's still on my bed. I love this blanket. It means so much to me. But she's getting old. She's been washed hundreds of times. She's faded. You know, she's getting holes and I try to repair them as best I can, but it's time for her to be retired. Uh, and I don't want it to fall apart any more than it already has. So I decided that I needed to make a new blanket. I bought some yarn from Sorella Yarn. Y'all know Sorella. I've talked about that yarn company before. She had a colorway or colorways collection that she released last October called the Salem Collection. And I absolutely fell in love with it. And in January, she had a greatest hits sale that had the Salem collection, parts of it in there. And I had to buy some. So here's, here's what I got. And I bought all of this with the intention of it being retiring this little girl and bringing her big sister in to do some work. Something kind of cool happened actually. Colorway that I wanted was called Sarah Good. And in the history of the Salem Witch Trials, the story of Sarah Good, which I'm not going to go into it, is pretty tragic. I loved the Sarah Good colorway. And they also had a colorway called um, Coven. That is like a matte muted black. And this is bulky weight yarn. Um, I wanted bulky weight because I wanted a soft, squishy blanket that would work up fast. So I got this black because it matches Sarah Good perfectly. And here is Sarah Good. It's like a speckled concoction. Very soft, very beautiful. When I got this yarn in the mail, I was sort of uh, let down because it did not look the way that it looked in the photo. And I know, I know with hand dyed yarn, it, it is not going to be exact, but I have bought yarn multiple times from Sorella and it has never been like that off. But you know what? I, I was happy to have it. I mean, like three seconds after I thought that, I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's great. Who cares? Not even a week after I got this yarn in the mail, I get an email from Sorelli Yarn Company saying, hey, we made a mistake in our yarn dyeing recipe for Sarah Good. Some of the orders got out before we could correct it. Some of them did not. Yours was one of the ones that got sent to you before we realized oh my gosh, we got this recipe wrong. This isn't right. We're sending you brand new yarn that is correct. We are so sorry. Please keep the yarn that we sent you as an apology gift. We are correcting our issue and your new yarn is on the way. And I was just like, oh, really? So essentially, I got an entire five pack of 
hand dyed bulky weight yarn for free. Here's what Sarah Good is really supposed to look like. And I wish I had the proper lighting to show you just how moody this colorway is. And as you can see, these two don't even look the same. But this yarn's still beautiful. I'm incorporating it. While I was waiting for the hand dyed yarn to come in, Premier Yarn had a sale on bulky weight wool yarn. I thought, great, they've got solids. I'll get a couple of solid colors to go in with Sarah Good and I can make me a good decent sized blanket. So I bought these two colors to go with Sarah Good. I got this burgundy. It's Deluxe Chunky 100% wool from Universal Yarn that I bought from Premier. Got an excellent price on these. And I got this Hunter Green. Um, it's not as soft, of course, because it's 100% wool as the Merino stuff, but I don't care. I'm, I'm not overly picky about that. But I got these to essentially, like, complement to blend with Sarah Good because Sarah Good has these greens and these maroons in it. And then once you add Coven, like, I had plans, I had plans to make this epic, cushy, bulky weight blanket to give my girl down here, my sweetheart little baby blanket, the retirement she deserves because I want her to live forever. I have all the yarn I need to make this blanket. This is just gonna be a little side project for me to do over time. But I got to thinking the other day, maybe I shouldn't use all that awesome bulky weight yarn for that blanket. What if I made an amazing wearable out of it? Like this awesome cushy sweater or cardigan out of this merino wool yarn. Cause I have 15 skeins of merino bulky weight hand dyed wool should i use that on a blanket like would that be a waste should i make a wearable with that because i still have these that i bought last summer that i haven't used yet this is from the sorella little mermaid collection i have three of these and two each of these. Should I use this fine weight yarn? Because this is a number one fine. This is fingering weight, which is part of the reason why I haven't used it. Because I'm kind of like, I've never worked. I mean, I've done yarn thread before, but just a little bit. I've not worked with yarn this tiny. But should I make a nice fine weight merino wool blanket that it would just be a nice a little extra layer to have on you? with the Little Mermaid yarn, because let me tell y'all, if you did not watch the Little Mermaid video when I got this yarn, and if I can remember, I'll put a link for that video up, up here in the corner. The Little Mermaid and Sleeping Beauty were my absolute favorite Disney movies. Still are, even though I have some that are up there. Those two will forever be on repeat. For me, I loved The Little Mermaid. Loved it. So now I'm thinking for something as precious as this blanket is to me. If I'm going to retire this one, should I use yarn that was inspired by something else that has been just as precious to me? for almost as long because I was six years old, I do believe when the little mermaid was released in the late eighties. And I remember being obsessed with it instantly. Should I replace it with this little mermaid yarn? Cause keep in mind, I have, I have seven skeins of all of these put together. 
should I just make a nice lightweight little mermaid yarn blanket mermaid yarn blanket to retire my girl and use that bulky weight down there to make a really cushy sweater cardigan or maybe even both I mean I've got a lot of yarn and then if you throw in the two packs of wool that I bought from Universal through Premier I've got 5, 10, 15, 25 hanks of bulky weight yarn down there that is very wearable worthy. So what would you all do? Would you make a lightweight, fine weight Little Mermaid blanket for her? Or would you make a big, bulshy, bulshy, bul bulky, cushy weight blanket with the uh, bulky yarn what would you do because now i'm i'm second guessing now i don't know what to do <laughs> so i could use your help okay next my friend jean who i love love jean she's one of my favorite people in this whole world she is from rhode island uh she's you know lived in tennessee for a while she and i met through our running group and she goes multiple times a year back to visit Rhode Island. And there's a small yarn shop there where they um, dye their own wool. They make it. They do all the things. And she wanted to buy. She thought she was buying um, a crab that had been like an amigurumi crab made out of some of their wool up there. And this is the name of the company. North Light Fibers. They have a website, north uh, northlightfibers.com if you're interested. I'll go ahead and tell you though, they're not cheap. They had like an example of this crab hanging, you know, on a shelf in their shop. And she wanted to buy the crab. She wanted to buy a crab. And they were like, oh yeah, sure. Um, what color would you like? And she said, oh, what colors do you have? And they set out the colors they have. She picked her colors. They give her everything, and she found out it was a kit where you, as an army groomy kit where you make your own crap. <laughs> Jean can knit. She's not knitted in a while, but she can knit. She never learned how to crochet, and it's a crochet kit. Here's the crab, and he's cute. He's very cute. She can't use this kit, and she's giving this to me and she's and i'm thinking you know maybe you know she's wanting to see if i'll make this crap for her which i mean yeah of course i'll make this for you i mean i love crocheting just because i love doing it i don't really want anything for it i just love doing it she tries to give me this entire kit and it came with the pattern and the polyfill and here is the yarn, and, and this is uh, merino wool. It came with these two hanks of yarn from the colors that she chose. Um, handcrafted, 100% made in the USA in Block Island, Rhode Island. And this is from their Atlantic series. If you look on their website, they have different types. There's not a whole, whole lot of yarn on their website, but there's, it's decent. It's decent. And their story is on there about, you know, because they, they care for the animals, you know, they've raised and cared for the animals that the wool comes from. Um, you know, they spin it, they dye it, sell it in their shop. Like this is 100% made in the USA. So if you are looking for made in the USA wool, 100%, um, you want North Light fibers. Okay. So anyway, this is what all the kit came with. So I'm thinking, you know, oh, she wants to ask me if I'll make this crap for her, which of course I will. She tells me, she's like, you know, I can't use this. I don't know how to crochet. You can just have this kit. And I was like, what? This wool by itself 
on their website is like $30 a hank. There's two in here. That's $60 worth of yarn, plus the polyfill, plus the pattern. And I was like, Jean, how much did you pay for this kit? And she's like, well, it was expensive. And I was like, mm-hmm. And she told me how much it was. And I was like, Jean, I, mm -mm. I was like, no, I will make the crab for you. Give it back to you. You, you wanted the crab. You're going to have the crab. And she's like, no, you don't have to do it. Girl, no, just, just let me have the kit. I'll make this crab for you. Give it back. I said, if anything, you can just let me keep the pattern. That way, if we ever want or need to make another one for anything, I've got the pattern I can put in my pattern folder. We can make another one. No problem. You know, you've got grandchildren. Maybe you want to give them something. Next time you go back up to Block Island, because they have items on their website too that are already, it's, they're already handmade using their yarn, but they're already together. Like all these like um, beanies and um, blankets and they're, Guys, they're pricey. I mean, the cost of some of those beanies is like between $60 and $70. But it's a hand-knitted beanie using this 100% wool that has been made in every way in the United States, if that's something important to you. And they also work with a company, according to their website, that employs people from countries that especially women don't have the career opportunities that you know men have they're very limited on what is socially allowable for them to do for themselves and they work with a company that pays these women fairly for their time and their diligence to hand make items using the wool that has been spun and dyed from north light fibers they have these baby blankets on their sites y'all they're a hundred dollars a piece but they are gorgeous and they've been hand knitted by these women i want one this blanket is gorgeous if it was because it's baby size so it's not hugely big it's like 30 by maybe 40 something if it was a little bigger 100% oh I have an update for you mm, I have an update the uh video that I put out I think it was before this one using the the baby blanket the uh tri-color linen stitch baby blanket using that polyester yarn that was fringy that I said I was kind of worried I didn't know how it was going to hold up with longevity and whatnot I got that blanket finished and I washed it. I laid it flat to dry. I didn't put it in the dryer, but I did wash it. I put it in um, like a small little garment, like lingerie bag and put it in the washer because I thought I want to see what's going to happen with this thing and just washed it with the other stuff as I wanted to see if it peeled up, if like the fuzzies came off of it and got all over the other stuff. I wanted to know what was going to happen because I was kind of worried. Let me show you what happened. Ta-da! Nothing happened. Look! It smells good. It's clean. It didn't fuzz up. It didn't peel up. It, it went through a basic casual wash cycle in a garment bag like a champ held up beautifully so for anybody that was curious this thing washed in a washing machine on a normal regular cycle in a garment bag just fine that made me really happy so now i got all these baby blankets finished i was working on i can get this stuff packed up mail it to my cousin in nashville for her baby who's now four months old because I couldn't get my stuff together to get these things made on time. Thank you all 
so much for joining me today. Thank you for hanging in with me. I know this video is really long. And when I see you again, we will be talking about this little guy. I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to get started on it. Uh, right now, I've got a couple of birthday presents that I'm trying to finish that I'm hoping to get done in the next couple of days because it's two beanies. So, uh, you know, we can whip those up pretty quick. So as soon as I get that done, we're going to get started on this Annie's kit and I'll be back with you. We'll talk about it and uh, go from there. So have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you all so much. I enjoy spending time with you and I will see you next time. But until then, happy yarn crafting.